Hey, welcome back to Well.com, home of TIG time. I'm Mr. TIG. You know, we're on location in Gouda Springs, Kansas again. We're in my shop, and we have several different things we want to show you today. One of them is called micro welding or micro TIG welding. And really, what does that mean? Well, we're going to get into some amperages like one, two, or three amps that we're going to weld with. Uh, the highest that we're going to weld with is five amps. So I want to show you exactly what that is and some of the kind of the, the tips of the trade. Uh, and we're going to start off with the, the TIG torch itself. Now, this particular TIG torch, I do have a gas lens in it. I have a 1 16th tungsten and I may very well drop down to an 040 diameter or an 020 diameter. But right now I've got a very fine tip ground on this. And if you'll notice the gas lens orifice, it's only like a four orifice. Now the trick to low amperage is not to turn up your gas, it's actually to turn it down. So I'm going to be running at about five to eight CFH of argon. Now to really test this machine out, and you're going to hear bragging rights from all kinds of brands and all kinds of machines, but you know what, the proof is in the pudding. So we're going to test it by using Reynolds wrap. Now this is just a 1100 series aluminum. And I'm going to cut a couple of samples out and weld them together. It's only a couple of mils thick. But before I do that, I want to talk about actually the, the welding helmet and how to set your helmet. Now when you're down at 2 amps or 1 amp, this helmet right here is going to flutter. And as, as nice and wonderful as these helmets are, they do, don't do very fantastic when it comes to two amp welding. So we're also going to show you how it flutters and uh, there's really not a lot you can do. So if you get a helmet that sustains at two amps, then keep it. There's not a lot of uh, guarantees on these helmets at that low end. I'm going to instead go to my con conventional passive helmet. Now you may think this is old school and it very well may be but the fact is you don't have to worry about uh, getting any kind of uh, fluttering or having the light uh, shine very quickly. So what we're going to do is we're going to put a 2.5 cheater in this and if I had 3.5 or 4.5 welding at 1 amp you really do need this because it's pretty hard to even see the arc. So I'm going to go ahead and put this in this helmet in just a few minutes. And I'm also going to go ahead and cut a couple of pieces and I'll, uh, I'll show you in just a few seconds how I put this all together. Okay, I'm using my X-Acto knife here just to cut this material which certainly doesn't take much at all. And there's one piece. And I'll do that with a second piece. Okay, now this is 1100 series aluminum. So I'm actually going to use this uh, little TIG machine, which is a DC only TIG machine. And I'm going to set it to uh, make sure I don't exceed about three amps. Okay, so I, I have two pieces that are cut and I put them in somewhat of a sandwich. It's just two ply. Line up the edges because the edges are actually what I'm going to use for filler material. So I just put it on this plate right here. And I kind of utilize the plate as my alignment. You know, you may see this at, at a few shows or county fairs, but it's always a fun one to do. So you can see I've, I've got two plies ready to go. Now I go ahead and put put this in place. Put a couple of clamps. Okay. 
Okay, we're ready to weld. I'm going to put my welding gear on and, and we'll get started. Okay, let's get our conditionation. And this is going to be very, very fast as far as travel speed is concerned. Again, it's 1100 series aluminum, which melts to itself very nicely. And I'm, I'm almost done here. Okay, so I'm running at about 3 amps. And it's finished. Now, 3 amps is not very hot, so I can handle this with not a problem at all. I'll take it off. Separate the two pieces and voila, we've just welded two pieces of aluminum foil together. It's the back side. Thanks for watching Tig Time. I'm Mr. Tig.